But first, we continue our series on Recovery Week. All week, we are featuring the stories of brave men and women who opened up to us about their struggles from addiction to sobriety. Today, Pepper Baker talks with one woman who says it only took one use of a prescription to start a spiral into two decades of addiction. From the first time that I took that first pain pill, I knew that my life was forever going to be changed. It first started in 1994. Brett Kopik was 25, recently injured in a horseback riding accident. I had a really special horse named Jessica, and um, I fell off of her one day and injured my back. Her husband, a doctor, gave her prescription hydrocodone for the pain. It was a half of a blue pill, and I will never forget the feeling that that pill gave me. What she didn't know was that her husband was addicted to the pills, too. She couldn't let them go, even when trying to get pregnant with her first child. Because all I could think about is I'm going to all these great lengths to have a baby, and I have this beautiful life, and I'm taking pain medication. The guilt and shame was, was unbearable. After her son was born, she made her first attempt at recovery, divorcing her husband and checking into treatment. But the withdrawals were intense. It was, the, it was like having the worst case of flu and any other illness you can think of all at one time, layered with anxiety. But you know that if you're to take one pill, all that'll go away. So she did. She started writing her own prescriptions and got arrested for it three times. The third time she went to jail. The judge gave her a choice, go to prison or go to rehab. Everybody wonders if they have an impact on somebody. Have I changed anybody else's life? Have I done anything worthwhile? And I wanted this man to know that he had done something for me. He had changed my life. She's now nine years sober. Because it happens very slowly very slowly when you go as far with it as I did. Sharing her recovery story helps her see how far she's come. In Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Well, Kopik now serves on River Edge's Board of Trustees and continues to share her story with others who are fighting their addictions.